Western UP, um, above that uh, blue line that you see there, which is the Keweenaw Fault, is where all the copper deposits are located. Uh, this is uh, Jacobsville Sandstone, a much uh, younger formation. Uh, this, all these rocks mm -hmm. are thrust up on top of it by means of the, the uh, Keweenaw uh, Fault. Uh, the rocks here where the Eagle is located, Eagle Mine is up in this area, uh, they're much, much older, the Archean rocks. Um, and the other thing to point out is uh, that the, these rocks that outcrop uh, on the Keweenaw uh, dip down under Lake Superior and come up on the other side in uh, Isle Royal, and they also contain uh, native copper deposits in that Isle Royal. These, uh, the thickness of these flows are probably about uh, 15,000 feet. And high in the formation, um, there's a formation called, uh, or high in the, the stratigraphic section, there's a, the uh, Nonsuch Shale, and you'll see that in the subsequent uh, um, diagram. And Nonsuch Shale is a, is a formation of the mine of white pine. It's the source of the, uh, the deposits at uh, Copper Lid that have been permitted. And, <coughs> and it contains uh, extensive copper deposits. Now, the, basically, the the copper out at uh, Grashit at 543 is contained in flow tops, basaltic flow tops. You can see what this looks like. You, uh, you see a rubbly top uh, that is uh, where, the, where the flow has congealed and then moves forward and breaks up. It's full of gas bubbles. And if you go deeper in the flow, it's more dense. Uh, but those gas bubbles and the, and the the uh, space between the fragments allow for deposition of, of minerals, including copper. And here, is, here you see the uh, big jewel, uh, which are the gas bubbles, and uh, excuse me, the vesicles, uh, which are the gas bubbles, and the big which is the uh, minerals filling in those gas bubbles. Those are so. Consequently, this is what we have in the Keweenaw and big basalt. And if you look at a cross section, uh, where this being the top of the formation, and uh, this is the denser part of the flow, um, these uh, triangles representing the fragments and the, the circles representing the nucleoles, this is the permeable part of the flow and the hydrothermal mineralizing solutions comes into that upper portion of the, of the flow, confined by the overlying flow, which is dense like this and mineralizes, deposits copper. Here's a, a photograph from the Caledonia mine just showing that relationship where you have, this is altered uh, top of the flow below, it's dipping to the left, and this is the, uh, the over, overlying flow which is unmineralized, and there's our contact. And you can see the alteration that's occurred with the copper. Even though this is, um, Native copper, you know, we're looking at a very similar thing uh, situation at uh, um, at 543 and G2. Basically, you have the native copper like here and the calcocite, which is what, which looks very much different. It's very dark. Um, when the, when 543 was first discovered, the drillers were wondering why we were drilling where we're drilling because. They could not see any copper. It was a black mineral and a black rock. I've got some in my pocket after the meet. If you'd like to uh, have a look, I can show you what that looks like. 